like I told y'all last week, we are moving. Woo woo, following the Lord. <laughs> but if you have not watched that video, you should watch it. I posted it last week. Hey y'all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Jasmine Antoine. If you're new here and if you are new, I'm so happy to have you. Today I wanna to talk to y'all about having a heart that is truly transformed. Have you ever desired something so badly that you said, if this happens, then I'll do this. Then the thing ends up happening, but you don't follow up with doing the thing that you said you would. Pharaoh does the same thing. In Exodus chapter eight, the Lord sent plagues of frogs, flies, and gnats to the land of Egypt and to Pharaoh because of Pharaoh's refusal to let God's people go. God wanted to free his people so that they could worship him, but Pharaoh was refusing to do what God wanted him to do. After the plague of frogs, the Bible says that when Pharaoh saw that there was relief, he hardened his heart and he would not listen to them. So he wasn't letting God's people go. He said he would let God's people go if God did this, God did that, but then he didn't do what he said he would do. Do you see yourself in this story? And not as Moses, but as Pharaoh. Have you experienced great seasons of suffering in your life and you ask God for rest, for peace, for sanity, maybe even for relief? Have you been in a place of humility telling God, Lord, I'm going to get it together. I'm going to obey you in these things that you're asking of me. I'm not going to refuse you in this thing. Just please lift this suffering. Please remove this suffering from my life. And you may have experienced God lifting the suffering, but did your heart have a true transformation after he lifted the suffering? Once you finally got to experience some peace, some rest, or some relief, did your heart harden like like Pharaoh's? Did your heart go back to refusing God's will? Did it go back to ignoring his instructions? Did your heart go back to a place of being bitter? Did it become resistant? Did it become prideful? Did it go back to a place of resisting his ways with your family, with your friends, in your workplace, at your job, whatever you do with people? Did your heart go back to its original state? Did you notice some relief in, in your life, in your body, in your atmosphere, in your home? Like, did you notice some relief somewhere, but your heart started to harden again? Did your heart harden again just after some relief? If so, if your heart did harden, there was no true transformation. Maybe some suffering, y'all hear me out here, maybe some suffering that isn't lifted is good for us because it keeps us humble. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not praying that I would experience suffering. I'm not praying that you would experience suffering. The goal is to be holy though. The goal is to be holy and through some suffering, we do become holy. The goal is to be completely humble like Christ. So I am praying that God would do whatever, you know, you know, I'm not praying for suffering, but I am praying God, you know, do whatever is best for us. Do whatever that is best for me so that I can become holy, so that we can become holy. So let's strive to be holy like our Father in heaven is holy. Let's continue to have our quality time with God so that the Lord can transform us, so that he can renew our minds, so that we can be pure and blameless before the Lord. Let's be obedient to the word of God and let's submit to his ways. Let's not harden our hearts when we hear, when we hear the voice of the Lord, when we hear the spirit of God, let's not harden our hearts. Don't harden your heart when you hear God speaking. In order to have our hearts truly transformed, we need to look to Jesus. He's our example. Though God himself, he took up the form of a servant and was obedient to the Father's will so that we could have life. He is our example. Take up the form of a servant. Be obedient to the Lord's will. Be obedient to your Father's will. Be about your Father's business so that many may come to know him. And if you continue to do things your way and refuse God's will like Pharaoh did, this is what the Bible says. In Jeremiah chapter nine, it says, why is the land destroyed and scorched like a wilderness so that no one could pass through? So why is this land destroyed? Why is this land looking crazy? Why is there a wilderness so that no one could pass through? Why is it looking torn up from the flow up? Why is it messed up? Why is my life looking like this? Why is there so much chaos? Why is all of this going on? The Lord then answers and tells why the land is looking like that. It is because they abandoned my instruction which I set before them and did not obey my voice or walk according to it. They didn't listen to God's voice. They hardened their heart to the Lord. The word says in Hebrews today, if you hear his voice, do not harden your hearts. If you hear the voice of the Lord, obey it. But if you don't, the Bible says, this is what God says again. He says, instead, they followed the stubbornness of their hearts and followed the Baals as their fathers. And because they did that, here's all this other stuff that God is going to allow to happen. It's because they had a stubborn heart. It's because they hardened their hearts. Today, if you hear his voice, today, if you hear God's voice, if the Lord is leading you in any way, if the Lord is leading you um, with your parenting, in your marriage, in a, in a friendship, at your job, today, if you hear the voice of the Lord, if you hear his voice, do not harden your heart. 
Do not harden your hearts to the Lord's instruction. Don't be like Pharaoh and harden your heart. If the Lord does lift your suffering, if the Lord gives you peace, if the Lord gives you relief in a certain area in your life, if he gives you relief over, over a, a health situation, if he gives you relief over whatever is going on in your mind, in your heart, whatever is going on in your life, if the Lord gives you relief in some way, do not go back to hardening your heart. Don't go back to hardening your heart follow the instructions of the Lord. I found this so easy for myself to do in certain situations where maybe I'm feeling chaos in a certain area in my life. Maybe I'm feeling chaos within myself and then the Lord helps me with something, but then my heart will go back to, to its original state. Because, because, oh, it's chill right now. So I don't have to, I don't have to strive really hard to be like this anymore. I can be comfortable, I can be, I can be chill, I can be cool, no. If you hear his voice, do not harden your heart. We have to fear the Lord. Y'all could just keep going about this, but I'm going to stop it right there. I love y'all. I hope y'all receive this message well. Jesus loves y'all so much more. And I'll see y'all again in the next video. I hope you all have a super blessed day and a super awesome week. Let's not harden our hearts. Okay, peace. <laughs>